you already know all things sports and entertainment we can completely disagree but let's get this conversation started so young dro and ti was on the breakfast club today um and i seen a clip going around going viral i don't personally watch the breakfast club that that much no more they be making too many they was making too many jokes and i just i got tired of it but anyway but young dro was talking about his substance his abuse a drug abuse drug addictions and how he was getting clean and basically somebody was laughing while he was talking about it then he started talking about his daughter being addicted and dude started laughing and young dro was like he turned around like hey man you better chill out if i smack the ish out of you now mind you young dro and ti is on the interview with charlamagne dj envy and um i forget the other lady name at the top of my head but so they start getting into it and then tip was trying to calm it down then i don't know who was there but dro was like man don't let him ruin it then dude then uh young dro whoever was saying whoever young dro was getting into it with and the other dude started getting into it and tip had to pretty much calm everybody down and was like man y'all hey the ones who came with me man remember why you here so young dro calmed down and i guess he later apologized for his actions but look i've been reading the comments a lot of people's been saying on different platforms that that guy wasn't a real friend because he was laughing about stuff because young dro did say he, he overdosed and look i personally had a mom growing up i was an 80s baby I had a mom that was addicted to crack at one point. A lot of my family members was addicted to crack at one point. So I understand how much of a sensitive topic it is. And also a lot of this stuff is um is get passed down. So like I said, his daughter was addicted. I don't know how old his daughter is, but we gotta, as, as honestly as people, we gotta stop laughing at stuff like that. Like that ain't cool. And I see why Dro was in, he was trying to have a vulnerable moment for millions of people and you over there laughing and kikiing just like just like the typical um negro <laughs> man my hey man hey you know i just had death in the family you getting you getting emotional <laughs> look at you crying bro so i understand i mean now personally personally if i was dro i would have turned around and just shook my head then i would have checked them off camera because you know as a man he looking at it like oh man oh i knew you ain't finna check me you know what i mean so it was just I don't know. And then, like I said, you know, salute the T.I. for trying to uh, uh, calm everybody down. But at the end of the day, you know, it's not that wasn't a laughing matter. And I get it, man. Like, even with me, I laugh a lot of times, even at things that I don't necessarily find funny because that's just how I, how I am. If I'm mad, I'm laugh. If I'm happy, I'm laugh. I laugh. If I'm sad, I laugh a lot of times. So I can understand. But, you know, when it comes to something like that, I man, especially like I said, he said he almost OD. We just lost Rich Homie Quan and Gangsta. You know how many people we didn't lost off of taking these fake pills and you know that's why that's why I don't, I don't personally do hard drugs. You know what I mean? Because you never know what's in the stuff. So you know, then I didn't, I didn't lost family members that didn't die from um, fentanyl. Other people didn't die from fentanyl. So you know, it's not a, it's not necessarily a laughing matter. But uh, hold on, y'all. I'm about to get my car washed. See? And I do gotta change my windshield out, but whatever, I'll get it done at some point. But uh, you know, I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. And again, you know, I'm glad I'm glad that they resolved it on, on air. But you know, a lot of people saying, man, he need to change it. So I'm sure they ain't gonna be tight like that no more. I don't know how tight they was, but you know, even old boy who felt like Joe threatened to smack him. He gonna now he gonna go back come back to Atlanta. And all people say, hey man, Dro checked you, man. Dro checked you, bro. So it's just this never in the cycle. But yeah, but tell me what y'all think.